Hey, so a uh, new knife for you guys. It's the Spyderco Cento Fonte 3. Uh, very popular knife. You guys have probably seen all the other videos, but uh, just throwing in my own tomb set since I um, increased my collection. I did buy this off of eBay. It was $35, including shipping, so pretty pricey knife. This lo the lowest I, I see them now is about $50 new. Um, got this knife just uh, probably about four or five days ago and I've uh, been carrying it ever since. Uh, it's been holding up very nicely. Although it is used, it has the same factory factory edge on it, extremely sharp. There's no dull, uh, dull spots or um, any kind of nicks or anything on the blade, so very happy about that. One thing though is it didn't come with the spider. The Spyderco clip did not have the, the pocket clip on there, so kind of disappointed with that, but you know, I figured, oh, I can just buy one after. They run like 15 bucks, so I probably should have just spent the 50 to get the new one with that spider clip. But uh, as of now, it's not a big deal. I'm just throwing it in my pocket. So anyways, getting back to the knife. So this is four and a half inches long, closed length, um, open. It is seven and nine sixteenths inches. The blade itself is three and one eighth inches long with a three inch cutting edge. And uh, I believe it's saber ground. Um, got the infamous spider hole there. Jimping on this knife is excellent. And just like most spider codes, it's got that ramp. So holding it is very ergonomic. It fits super comfortable in the hand. And your thumb just, you know, sits tight in that ramp. Uh, it's got a very nice belly to the knife. Um, got a fairly pointed edge. But uh, as much as I've been using it, great for EDC, just as, you know, everyone else has claimed it to be. It's living up to its title. This knife, um, some downsides, it doesn't have any screws that are removable. As you can see, they're all pins, including the pivot for the blade. So there will be no tightening or loosening of this blade. It will just, you know, over time, as I got it now, the blade is very stiff. You see, I can't even throw it forward by doing that lock back um, close. So, you know, either two hands or, you know, opening it. You gotta hold that lock back down, and I put my index finger at the top, and I just push down a little bit, and then turn it around to close it. Um, spider hole is a little bit smaller than I'm used to. I'm used to carrying my Endura 4, which I really like. Obviously, it's a little bit big for EDC, but it doesn't bother me too much. This one's a lot smaller, um, at half an inch or two millimeters. Opening speed, um, of course, it's not like extremely fast. It's not made for that. It is a uh, smaller spider hole, but you know, opening it, that is pretty quick. Uh, that's not flicking it. That's fully manually opening it. <clears throat> the knife a pivot is yet still too tight to just go ahead and flick it out. But you know, over time you'll be able to do that. Um, from the videos I've watched and from my own experience now, this is considered a gentleman's folder. Um, it has FRN handles, which is fiberglass reinforced nylon. Um, no extreme grip in particular. There's no texture to it. The back of the blade is very smooth. The handle, I'm sorry. And uh, the front has a couple grooves here. But, you know, regardless for small EDC tasks, it is extremely comfortable. And with that grip, you don't really have an issue of slipping or anything. Um, as you already saw, it is a lockback design. And uh, you see here in the front, it's got the... Spider Co. Insignia, the spider, and actually on that, it's an actual metal insert. It's not that laser imprinted like on most blades. It's an actual emblem that's inserted in the upper end. So I think that's definitely pretty cool. Um, it is tip up, tip down, but only right hand carry. Spider Co. typically puts them on all four sides, but on this particular model, it's a Cento Fonte 3, and they do not have it for left side carry, so it's right side tip, or tip down or tip up carry. So, you know, regardless, that's still pretty good on their part. Um, as far as cutting ability, this knife comes razor sharp. I did get it used, but I'm led to believe that it still has its factory edge, doesn't show any blemishes or marks uh, or any scuffs or anything from use, so it was very lightly used, whoever did own this before the person I bought it off of. Um, I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of cut test. I got some cardboard. So. Just take some normal cardboard to give you a sense of how sharp this is. Razor sharp. Do it a little bit slower. Super, super sharp. You can just swipe through. Let's see all the pieces there. 
So this knife is razor sharp, beautiful for an EDC. I highly recommend it, um, just like as all the other videos you've seen on it. Um, once again, this knife does run about $50 now, according to older videos that you've seen in the past that were maybe a year ago or whatnot. This knife was about $35. Uh, now you're looking at $50 plus. So if you can get this knife cheaper than that, go for it. And if you plan on buying this knife, I'd buy it now because it seems like the price is just going to continue going up. Um, just real quick, uh, it is made in Seki, Seki, Seki City, Japan. Um, so it is made in Japan. And it... Uh, weight of the knife, it's 2.6 ounces, or I'm sorry, 2.5 actually. The knife's 2.5 ounces, so extremely light, once again, making it um, ideal for an EDC knife. So, once again, that is the Spyderco Sente Ponte 3. Thank you for watching. Zippo this, knife that.